when Congress cannabis. declared that marijuana had no medical value, uh, generally when you declare a substance that has no medical value, you have to have scientific proof, you have to have evidence and arguments on both sides. Not only did they not have arguments, they didn't have arguments on both sides, they did not use uh, scientific proof, they used false information. They did it illegally. Aspirin, when aspirin became a, a drug, there were no tests, it was grandfathered in, it was recognized because for hundreds of years it's been recognized as having medical value. Medical cannabis has been recognized for hundreds of years as having value. It should have been grandfathered in, but like aspirin. The only difference between the two is that over 10,000 people die every year from, from taking aspirin, and not one person has ever died from using marijuana. Uh, it could replace 50% uh, of all prescription drugs. Half of all prescription drugs can be, in the future, marijuana will be the aspirin. That, so this is a whole industry that has a lot to lose if marijuana is made legal. The law enforcement, there is a whole industry surrounded around marijuana, about you know drug tests and drug testing and, and the fear, and then they have a soft on crime. In California, there's a, you know, the three strikes was real big, and we, there's a real anti-crime, and any politician is terrified to be considered soft on crime. We're wasting billions of dollars every year that could be going to helping people instead of torturing people and hurting people. And that's why we're here today, to let these people know, you know, it's the state law.